Nipsey Hustle, that's why you see me rocking the marathon. He inspired a lot of people. I just want to say, rest in peace to him. If we yeah. can make some noise for Nipsey Hustle. Yeah. Yeah. Niggas is dying, man. For real. I'm not like, and it's funny because <laughs> before before this happened, I had a joke that I was working on, and it was called a uh, real nigga justice system. That's what I was, it was called because I felt like I was. Getting bitter, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm not uh, rich and famous yet. So I, what I did is I, I, I was think that there should be a coalition of people that go around and, and people who don't deserve nice shit and whips and shit because I'm suffering that they should go ahead and give me those keys, fam. This is the real, this is the real nigga justice system. You fucking code for a living. Why you want a ball or whip? You need to give it to that, you know what I'm saying? But I think the real thing, I, I, I might have to change that because he was shot, killed in front of his own business because someone hated on that nigga. And now he's gone. So I just wanted to say, if, you know, the only way, and, and I'll get to a joke so I don't fuck up the first comedian. But, <laughs> but I do want to say that, uh, we really need, and this is beyond Nipsey, beyond everything, you guys see what's happening in New Zealand and Paris and Sandy Hook and on and on and on, niggas are dying and it's not okay. And uh, we, gotta, we gotta be better, man. You gotta love each other, gotta make some money for that. Yeah, sure. Not to be preachy, but it's just, you know. <laughs> that was on my mind, man, because I'm fucked up by this, man. Because he, 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 he spoke about something we all want, and that's to be our own brand, build up our own shit. And that's why I, gotta, I champion him, and that's why I'm rocking his shit, and that's why we gotta do better. Anyway, let's get to the jokes. Are ready for the jokes? Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of super slaves walking around, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Not super slaves, but I'm impressed by these high school athletes, man. Yeah. What is going on? I'm black and I'm impressed. When you're black and you're impressed by it, it looks like, who, where did Zion Williamson come from? Yeah. I'll tell you where. Years and years of his, all right, so, and this is what I mean by super slaves. So back in the day, they breed the strongest with the strongest. I'm saying it took generations. Now we have Zion Williamson who could basically dunk from the three point. <laughs> <laughs> Give him a good two-step running start. He's jamming on your ass. I don't care where you are. You can be. He'll shoot a three. I've never seen anyone like this. You understand? Like, and, and it's just unfair to me because his generation of family made him a, 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 an unstoppable athletic force. While me, on the other hand, I have alcoholism, diabetes, um, <laughs> fear of um, everything. You know what I'm saying? Just, just shit like that. I'm sick of LA being so uh, health conscious. I need to be around more fat people because it's just not working out for me right now. Especially when I'm buying pants. I miss buying pants for fat people. If, I'm from the Midwest originally, so I, I'm used to the courtesy fat pants. You wanna know what the courtesy fat pants are? The courtesy fat pants is with a little piece of elastic right here, so you don't wanna kill yourself when you're buying a pair of pants, okay? You really wear a 42, but with that elastic, ah, it's a 40, thank you, Jesus, yes! I could sit down and not rip this part right here. Just this one. <laughs> All of my pants have this rip right here. And I don't understand why. I like to think it's because I'm big, but I'm swift. You know what I mean? I can move around very quickly, but my endurance is bad. So if something pops off right now, God forbid, I do a quick, ha ah, I run a block, and then I just hide and pretend I'm dead. That's what I gotta do. I gotta hide and pretend I'm dead. So you guys know the rules. Um, I'm going to leave you with that. Five minutes. I light you at four. At 4:30, I get stand up by the merchandise, which means what? Get the fuck off the stage. Get the fuck off the stage. Thank you. If you don't do that, 
you're an idiot, okay? <laughs> I don't have any uh, re uh, consequences to guarantee you, but I will be very upset with you. <laughs> I'm disappointed. All right. So, without further ado, y'all ready for your first commentary? Yeah! yeah.